What you're looking at here is the Savage Axis. Uh, this is a Centerfire 243 win. I uh, bought this uh, at a sporting goods store for $379. i have seen them as low as $349, I believe. Um, this is called the Spiderweb model. It uh, literally looks like someone splattered paint on it on the stock. Here, it's, it's actually really kind of cool looking. Um, back here, you've got, I guess, what you'd call three sections. And it actually is fairly soft. I can push my finger into it. Um, it is not adjustable. Uh, that is a common question online. But this one did come with a scope. It's a Weaver scope, I believe. Weaver mounts. Uh, it's a 3 by 9 by 40 It's quite honestly very entry level. Um, I'm going to re replace it with something better. Uh, but it does come with it. It comes with a four-round magazine that's really easy to get in and out. It's got the Savage uh, logo on the bottom, and this this spring is actually uh, feels pretty good. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. Uh, see, it looks like there. It does obviously come with uh, sling eyelets. The barrel is a carbon steel, I believe is what they call it, and I believe they said it was 20 inches. Uh, there is a cool little uh, embossed logo here as well. Now, one of the main reasons I do videos like this, kind of read some reviews beforehand. Uh, if you look on the top, uh, the safety is right here. So obviously you're firing a hole, safety on. The action for the bolt is very different. So I have had plenty of experience with different brands. The way this one goes up, it stops about right there. There's a stopping point. So as you can, if you're looking down, you can see it's more or less parallel to the ground. And there's almost, it's like a sticking point. You can hear it. It's loud. So right, let's see if I can give you a better angle. Right there to pull it back. Um, it's good. I'm going to oil this and kind of work it maybe 50 to 100 times before I shoot. I have not shot this. I just bought it and just literally just took it out of the box. Um, but this is what everybody says is a little awkward, right? Hold on, right there, that spring. I'm assuming it's somewhere back in here, but um, it's not the smoothest action on the planet, I'll tell you that. Uh, I've owned some very, I own some very expensive rifles for hunting and they don't have that pop there. But once you get it past this pop, this part is very smooth. So, I mean that, you can kind of see it's I'm barely pushing it. But again, to cycle through some rounds there, and it kind of pops again like that. So, eh, plus minus. I mean, it was a $350 gun. Um, the, I, it's it's pretty cool looking. It's not very heavy. I couldn't find the weight. Um, it does only come with one of these. Like I said, it's four rounds. They give you earplugs, a target, a uh, uh, trigger lock. And owner's manual, and I believe that's about it. But I mean, just the fact that the scope rings are on there, even if you don't use the scope, that's 40 bucks right there alone. So, kind of a longer video than I had anticipated. Just want to give you a quick, quick, quick rundown. I'll probably do a couple videos in the future with another review after shooting it and um, potentially even shooting it. I have been told, uh, I think this is set at 12 and a half pounds, if uh, memory serves me correct that uh, people have lightened the trigger. Uh, there's kits out there for 20 to $25 um, that you can lighten this uh, trigger pressure. Um, but again, overall, I'm pleased with the purchase. It looks great out of the box. Hope that helps.